Hi, I'm John. I'm here at the Desert Botanical Garden in our Marley Learning Lab with our outdoor classroom and our greenhouses behind me. So uh, today we're bringing to you a fun activity that you can do at home. It's quick, it takes about 20 minutes, um, and I hope you checked out our blog um, on facts and myths about creepy crawlies in the desert. And it is fall, so we'll be having a lot more animals out and about that you might be able to see. So this is a really great activity for kids. You can find all of these ingredients in most major grocery stores. It takes, uh, you have about five different things that you'll need. But to start off, you will need some brownies. You can either make your brownies or you can buy some pre-made ones. We made some pre-made ones today. You'll need some parchment paper, some icing, some pretzels, and some candy eyeballs, as well as some cookie cutters if you made your brownies. Um, one thing, if you made your brownies, you will have to let them cool down before you cut into them. So while you're waiting for your brownies to cool or before you start making your uh, tarantula spiders, brownie treats, um, you'll have to break off your little uh, spider legs into little parts. And it's really great for your children to help out and feel like they're involved in this activity. So um, what you'll do is, You'll take a little brownie circle, take some icing, put it on the front center right there, and then you'll take your candy eyeballs and you'll add them to it. And then once you have your candy eyeballs and everything there, you'll add your little spider legs. And tarantulas have eight legs like other arachnids, where it is different from other insects which only have six legs. So that's what makes them special. And let's see, we need two more legs. And they don't have to be perfectly in line. So here, we have our fun little tarantula treat. Um, that's great for Halloween uh, parties and anything like that going on. Mm -hmm.